888. Peace and prosperity. Today, the best day ever. Tomorrow, going to get better. Respect to everybody out there saving their money, time, and energy. Self-preservation is idle. Self-sufficient is a must. If it ain't got no seed, it ain't what you need. Yan Simeon. Buenos Torres to everybody. La vida es buenos. Yan Simeon. Listen. Semen Retention. Season 1. Episode 80 on. So this is the AL. Gonna stay consistent and we're gonna stay persistent. That's the recipe. I ain't hiding shit. Cause everybody ain't gonna be able to apply this motherfucking determination, discipline, and this motherfucking dedication. And if you do, you're gonna realize your choices, chances, and changes start to improve. Cause every day we seek the highest outcome of every situation. So that we can become our optimum selves. Alright? Up eight, strictly about God. You feel me? God gonna make sure you protect it. God gonna see you blissful gifts more than anything. It's gonna start off with a light drizzle. And the more the universe, your vibrations start to pulsate because what you're putting in, and what's gonna come out, what's coming out is what you're putting in. So the universe, the most high, God, the creator, gonna be realizing that shit. And then your outer atmosphere, your stratosphere, your surroundings going to start to resonate with you. You feel me? So if you have a mind frame of abundance, you're going to start to receive so many things, dog. Like, look, I was sleeping. I was sleeping uh, somewhere the other day. And this lady gave me a $100 check. And she said, good luck. And then later that day, I got put on at my new investment. And then two days ago, I was walking in this back alley, about to go to this cut, taking a little shortcut, and then I found hella money on the ground. I looked around like, what, nigga, this? Nigga, this a trap, nigga? You feel me? Nah, not only that, what I mean by God gonna make sure you protect it, because you know, it's opposing out of forces that don't want you to be where you at, because while you on semen retention, they can't manipulate you. They can't control you. And they don't like that shit. You feel me? Just like at my investment, they be saying certain things. They want motherfucker to do certain things. I ain't going for it. And they be like, damn. They be mad as fuck. And I hear them shoot shooting in the background like, I don't get no fucks. You dig? Like I say, they going to be motherfuckers who going to fight you and shit. You're going to have to stand your ground, dog. And you're going to be David out here. It's going to be a lot of Goliaths out here because they... I don't know what it, I don't know what's wrong with big niggas, dog. But big niggas always want to fight little niggas. I'm only six feet. I'm like 170 now. You feel me? And I'm like, nigga, you's a big nigga, dog. You about six four, about two sixty something. And you let me bust your ass, man. You gonna be so vigorous, dog. God gonna be putting this spirit inside you, bro. You gonna be fucking unfuckwittable. Females, Jezebel, succubus, motherfucking haters. Shoo shoo and they say it's motherfuckers that's not making progress. Gonna come around and shit, you dig? But you gotta remind yourself before you even took this journey, but it's gonna even raise the fucking level and the bar that you set. You're gonna be more of an incorruptible soul, you know what I'm saying? Like last night, a motherfucker, I'm like, man, the Matrix crazy, dog. Last night, a motherfucker pulled up on me in a, um, in a weed truck. And I was like, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what the fuck? I don't smoke no more. I don't smoke cannabis. I don't smoke marijuana. I don't smoke weed. If I don't grow it, I ain't really touch it. I ain't fucking with it. Because, you know, niggas playing chemical games and shit. Excuse me. So I was like, damn, that's crazy. Like, niggas strictly pulled up on me. They had hella people out there. Motherfucker came, pulled up on me, and, and circled the block twice. And I was like, damn, that's, that's foul, you hear me? And then mother was like, hey, bro, you sure you don't want nothing, bro? And then motherfucker was like, man, I'll I, I give you a little something for free to see if you like it. And then you let me know. And I was like, nah, bitch, ain't shit for free out here. So you realize how much a motherfucker being protected, dog. Because you know what I'm saying? The most high got us out here on this motherfucking journey. So, like I said, it's going to start off as a light drizzle, dog. Then it's going to start pouring. And then it's going to look like a hurricane five. Like, it's going to look like the Katrina shit. 
all the gifts that God gonna be giving that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Giving a giving a young guy, you feel me? Because bro, we going through these trials and tribulations. Everybody can't do this shit, bro. Everybody ain't built for this shit, bro. Motherfuckers be won't give up and shit. Everybody ain't ain't built for it, dog. I'm trying to tell you right now. So you gotta realize, bro. The most I see that shit. You know what I'm saying? And the longer your streak get, the longer you holding it down and shit, bro, the further you're going to be fucking receiving more rewards and shit. They about to come cut the grass and shit, so I want to move my little garden I made in my little spot that I come see every day. You feel me? You know how niggas be hateful and shit. Niggas say, oh, you eat plants? You don't like, you don't eat meat? Don't that mean you still killing it to eat to eat it? I'm like, man, you trying your best. If that's the best you got to come with. It don't, it don't move me at all, my nigga. But yeah, man. Nigga not eating, eating no type of trash, bro. Whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not drinking. I'm not smoking. I'm not going around low vibrational fucking uh surroundings. Like I'm mostly you you gonna be going to high value places, bro. The gym, the library, Barnes and Nobles, the fucking beach, you know, solitary, high spiritual places, Arizona, Sedona, you feel me? The gym, you dig? You're gonna be going to uh getting massages and shit, going to the floatology. It definitely, if you working out and you don't see no retention, you're going hard because you know, you normally used to work out probably once a day. But the way your body is now, you you fiending for it twice, you dig? And you got all this fucking energy. So you gotta do something with it or it's gonna fuck your system up, dog. And bro, God gonna be taking care of you, bro. The animals gonna come and show you some peace of mind. You feel me? The environment gonna speak to you. The plants, the fruits, the vegetables, the herbs gonna all resonate with you. You dig? Like, God really gonna be there for you, bro. And God ain't gonna let nothing come fuck with you. But also, God's still testing you to make sure that you're gonna be able to hold it down because all the great things that he's giving us gotta make sure that you're gonna be able to take care of that and fight for that. You feel me? You can't give away nothing. You can't give away this shit for free. You feel me? So, yeah, man, like, the most high really gonna take care of us, man. As long as you got that mind frame of abundance, you gonna be all right. You gonna be Gucci cool, y'all you know see me? But, like, man, your spirit gonna be protected. Your mind gonna protect it. Your soul gonna be protected. You dig? Because your mind gonna be able to compute and process and your pistons gonna be moving at a faster rate. You did physically you're gonna be protected because I told you you're gonna have females and men hating on you and shit. Succubus, incubus, Jezebels, you know what I'm saying? Those that's just not trying to better themselves and those who like to just rely and live in a matrix. You did? And it's just like, bro, this is a beautiful ass journey. So you wanna keep on going and shit, dog, and keep on giving respect saying positive affirmations over yourself and saying prayers to the most high also saying prayers to your own soul you know what i'm saying worship yourself too not in a car uh, uh, carnage uh, uh in a vain way but you must give prosperous thanks to yourself and pat yourself on the back bro you got to give thanks to yourself because you're going through the journey we going through the mud now we got a solid foundation we on concrete now we about to build this house that the most high then gave us and our sanctuary going to be up in that motherfucker, dwelling inside us, which is our temple, our body. So you got to be very conscious and careful of what you're putting inside you, mentally, physically, and spiritually. You know what I'm saying? And everything going to be gracious, man. You're going to receive the fruits of your labor and all of that. You did. You know, we're going through a real wicked time right now. It's a spiritual warfare. Also, you know, motherfucker like me. Because I ain't on the Uncle Tom shit or, or sucking ass or doing it for the dollars. We're dealing with a lot of racism and shit, bro. So that's how much the most high is really protecting us. You feel me? 
through all of these tri type of trials and tribulations and shit that's going on, man. And, like, if you looking for a female and shit, it'll come your way. But right now, man, it's just time to better yourself. Get your LLC situated. Get your EIN number. Get your business started. You feel me? Going to travel. Going to learn new languages. Going to learn about you. This is what's the most important um, thing about this semen retention, about being celibate, about this journey that we took on, is that you're getting to learn who you are. You're getting to learn more about yourself every day. The ins, the outs, the likes, the dislikes, the motivation and the things that just keep you unmotivated. You know what I'm saying? The things you need to be a part of and the things you don't need to be a part of. Always remembering that you need to only have connections and not attachments. You know what I'm saying? Only putting yourself in situations where you celebrate it and not tolerate it. You see me? Like I said, it's going to be a lot of hate, dog. The hate going to be revved up. You're going to be like, damn, throughout my whole life, I ain't never been as hated. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a chosen one and you want semen retention and you're living in the life of pureza, purity. You know what I'm saying? Me? wrong. We are in the age of enlightenment, y'all you know see me? And I'm here to enlighten y'all. Anything resonate with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Show me a little love, you know what I'm saying? Drash something in the uh, cash app. Drash the like button, drash the subscribe button. Leave a couple comments in the motherfucking comment section, you feel me? So I could get this in the algorithm. I'm doing YouTube full time, bro. I'm dropping bangers. I'm gonna start to better my videos. You dig? And I, I might as well start a podcast show, you feel me? And start having little interviews and stuff like that. And we could be joshing this shit because I know there's other beings on their own level. They got vital information just as myself. You feel me? So great minds, you know what I'm saying? Birds of a feather need a flock to get a water seeks its own level. You dig? So always give thanks to the most high, man. Have the mind frame of abundance. Don't be trying to hold on to shit like it's your last. Everything out here is unlimited. You know what I'm saying? But don't be out here like a fucking crash dummy. You feel me? Respect, peace, and prosperity and more life to everybody out there saving their money, time, and energy. Y'all you know see me? And uh, y'all already know what the vibe is, man. Oasis. And I'm gone. And I'm gone.